morning all of you good morning sir good morning let's start with the next topic of the unit 4 okay yesterday we have discussed regarding the information retrieval system and uh, different components in that so today our topic of discussion is the general model of the learning agent and specifically today we will uh, discuss about the what exactly the learning agent is now let's start with some example so that uh, you get the clear idea now consider uh, i am your teacher for the c language and uh, okay so i teach you something some basics of the c language then uh, uh, what are the parameters the operators in the c syntax of uh, Uh, writing the different statements displaying the result okay etc etc and i i also shown you the how to do the program of addition subtraction multiplication basic program these all the kind of things and uh, from that uh, you learn something okay so in that case uh, can i call you as a learning agent yes if i teach you something and from that you learn something okay for example i am teaching you the c language okay i teach you all the basics related with the c how to do the programming operators keywords syntax etc etc and from that you learn something and you start doing the practice so in that case can i call you the learning agent yes sir yes so in that case i can call you as a you as a learning agent now in case of the artificial intelligence also the learning agent is also the same thing okay so initially <clears throat> uh, in case of our human being i teach you something in the sense i am adding some knowledge in your knowledge base initially is it correct Yes, sir. Initially, I am adding some knowledge in your knowledge base. Yes, sir. Understood. And then, using that knowledge, you start doing the practices, practices, and also you learn. You when you doing some practices, you learn something new. From that, you will get the experiences, and from that, you will uh, try to achieve the. Uh, you will try to increase your performance through through doing some more programming through doing some programming related with some new task etc etc <clears throat> so that is nothing but the learning agent which is we are uh, discussing as a human being as a, a relation of the teacher and the student now same is there in case of what you can say <clears throat> learning agent of the artificial intelligence or the learning agent in the artificial intelligence here you can see <clears throat> i have mentioned what exactly is the learning agent is now you can see here the same thing i have mentioned the learning agent is nothing but the tool in the artificial intelligence that is capable of learning from its experiences it start with some basic knowledge and is then able to act and adapt autonomously through the learning to improve its own performance so this is the important part it start with some basic knowledge so the example i told you i initially i teach you something that is nothing but i am giving some basic knowledge initially is it is it correct yes or no <clears throat> yes all of you are getting the definition yes or no give some response yes sir yes sir okay 
so initially i am giving some kind of knowledge okay and then you are you are using that knowledge and you are doing the practice that is the same thing i have mentioned and then it is able to act and adapt autonomously adapt autonomously means then you start doing practices by the by your own you you start doing the changes in that programming by their own okay so accordingly you improve your performance understood and that is nothing but the same thing in case of the artificial intelligence related with the learning agent is a tool in the ai that is capable of learning from its experiences so it start with some basic knowledge and is then able to act and adapt autonomously through the learning to improve its own performance so so can i call you as a learning agent yes can i call you the learning agent yes sir and you all of you understood this learning agent definition yes sir Yes, so sir. the same thing related i have mentioned here the learning agents are able to perform the task analyze the performance and look for new ways to improve on those tasks all on their own so initially if you get some initial knowledge then you can work on that and you can try to improve that knowledge by your own the same thing is there in case of the artificial learning agent also so initially we'll put some knowledge in the knowledge base of the learning agent and through the experiences then that learning learning agent will start learning from their experiences and we start using that knowledge and when it gets some new new experience then that learning agent will add that experience in their existing knowledge base and accordingly learning agent performance will get improve okay so a learning agent is an a uh, uh, in ai is the type of agent which learn from its past experiences or it has the learning capabilities understood now in case of the human being also is there is all the things that you can do now initially somebody have told you understood but afterwards afterwards you learn by yourself number of things from your previous experiences is it like that yes or no yes sir so initially in case of the artificial learning also artificial uh, learning agent also it start to act with some basic knowledge and then is able to act and adapt automatically through the learning same case is happening in case of our human being also initially we used to get some learning uh, we used to get some learning learning from you, our parents from our teachers from our mentors and then afterwards using our knowledge base using our experience we start learning the different kind of things by your own experiences and that experiences is being that past experiences being get added added in your knowledge base and in this way you will learn in our life the same thing is there in case of the artificial learning agent also only the thing different is what the artificial learning agent knowledge base is the artificial okay its memory is the artificial it is not like the human being we have to create that knowledge base we have to create that memory etc etc we have to code in such a way that so that that learning agent can learn from the particular past experience and it can learn from the previous data and then he can improve its performance by own now learning agent is is not just like uh, we do the some kind of programming and through the programming we add some uh, instruction give some instruction to that learning agent and if it is just if it is, if that uh, learning if that agent is just acting according to your instruction which you have added in your program then <clears throat> can you call that agent as a learning agent if that agent is working just according to the instruction that you have put uh, in that agent through the programming etc etc if that agent is working according to your instruction which you have written in that program then can we call that agent as a learning agent yes or no yes do you understand the question or shall i repeat 
Sir, repeat. What I am saying now, suppose you have created some robot or the uh, artificial agent, and that agent is just acting according to the programming code that you have inbuilt in that robot, programming code that you have embedded in that robot. If it is according to that, you are programming instruction only. Can we call that agent as a learning agent? Yes. No, sir. No. What learning agent definition says that it should it should it, it should perform the number of activity apart from what is being given as the initial knowledge to it. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So using yes, initial sir. knowledge, using that initial knowledge. That agent must create some valuable knowledge. It's a, it must create some what we can say. Uh, uh, it should it must it must be able to uh, get some learning capabilities. And through that learning capabilities, that agent must be able to perform all other activities. That agent must be able to add the uh, what we can say the past experiences. He must be able to use that past experiences. And he must able to perform the different activities from the activities which is being added through the programming. In that case, only we can call that agent as a learning agent. Understood? But if the okay. agent is just acting according to the initial knowledge being given, and it is not doing any activity apart from the initial knowledge being given, then we cannot call that agent as a learning agent. That agent can be called as an intelligent agent, but we cannot call that agent as a learning agent getting yes sir okay so let's see now question being asked in case of this topic is nothing but the architecture of the learning agent or the general model of the learning agent the number of time question is being asked on this okay now here you can see this is the can you able to see this figure yes sir okay now you can see these are the there are the four major components of the learning agent now you can see what are that four main components here is the first learning elements then performance elements then problem generator and the critique these are the four main elements of the learning elements and that we have to discuss one by one so let's see start with the first one that is the learning elements okay now learning element is the kind of one particular component of the learning agent using which that agent learns the different things understood it is the component using which the learning agent learns the different things and it try to gain the most of the knowledge from this learning elements understood now let me tell you if you are the learning agent then can i call me as a learning element for you Yes, if I am calling you as a learning agent, then can I call me as a learning element for you? Yes, sir. Why? Yes, sir. Why? Because it plays the important role of improve analysis, sir. Because you are learning from whom? You are learning from me. Sir. So I am trying. I am trying to improve you. Yes, sir. That is the reason here. I you can call me as a learning element, and you as a learning agent because you are trying to learn from me. And same thing I have mentioned here. It is a component which plays the important role in the improvising the agent is called as a learning element. The element which learn from the learning element. Uh, so the agent which learn from the most important component that is nothing but the called as a learning element so same thing i have mentioned here learning element helps in improvising an agent by taking the knowledge understood what learning element work is what to give the knowledge to the learning agent getting getting about the learning element yes to give the knowledge to the learning agent that is the main work of the learning element understood as well as learning element can get the knowledge from another component also here you can see in the figure learning element 
is getting the knowledge from another component here that is the critic also getting yes can you able to see this i am marking here learning elements also getting the knowledge from the critic also through some feedback yes sir now what exactly critic we will i will explain you here you have to just keep in mind from which different sources learning agent is getting the knowledge so here you can see the knowledge being added uh, through the critic also as well as learning element is getting the knowledge from the performance element also and it also getting the knowledge from the environment understood yes. so here i have mentioned the learning element helps in improvising a improvising an agent by taking the knowledge about the performance element or by taking the knowledge about from the performance element and the feedback from the critics this is your whole agent this is the whole agent you are getting this is the whole agent and these are different components in that agent in that first component is what learning element what is the work of the learning element improving the agent improving uh, the agent through giving the different kind of knowledge now and the best example for here is nothing but the students learning from the teacher yes or no yes sir where student learning from the teacher in case that student can be considered as a learning agent and teacher can be considered as a learning knowledge. element which is giving the knowledge to the student now we can also consider the example of automated car learning agent what automated car learning agent here? what do you mean by the automated car learning agent automated car means without driver driverless cars understood now before going to the driverless car first we just take the example of another example just like we have seen the example of student teacher let's take a, let's take the example of our uh, driver car now before the driver is driving the car that driver also has to learn from somebody yes sir getting that driver that person as a driver he has also to learn from somebody understood now when that driver learning from somebody can we call that driver as a learning agent yes sir yes and who is the learning element for that learning agent as a driver it can be anybody it can be his parents you can learn the driving from your parents or from the that uh, professional teacher of the driving etc etc yes or no that are being considered as a learning element who will try to improve that driver as a learning agent so when you learn when to use the brake when to use the accelerator when to utilize the gear when to choose the different route when these kind of things you learn from whom learning elements in that case in that case we can say the learning element is adding some kind of knowledge to the learning agent getting yes sir understood the first component that is what learning element its work is what adding the knowledge to the or giving the knowledge to the learning agent understood yes sir let's move forward to the another element that is the performance element now let's carry on with the same example that i have taught you now as i said in the first component as a learning element i teach you something you learn something correct then i after i teaching you then you go for the exam what you go for the exam you write the paper and you get some marks correct yes. you write the paper and you get some marks and that is nothing but the considered as a performance element related with the learning agent can we call it as a performance element of the learning agent when you after after you learn something you go for the exam you give the exam and you obtain some marks Yes. yes can we call that as a performance <coughs> element related with the learning agent yes sir yes sir correct 
so the same thing is there okay in case of the artificial learning is uh, agent also so it is the main component of, component of the agent like our neurons our brain in our human body okay so performance performance element take the input from the environment with the help of the sensor and decide appropriate action based on the interaction with the learning elements and then it perform the action with the help of the effectors now when you are going for the exam and you give the exam that is nothing but you are performing some action after you learning something from the learning element yes or no when you are performing the action of giving the exam when you are when you when you can able to decide what you should write in the exam when it will be possible yes when it will be possible without learning first you need to learn understood that is the same thing i i i, I mentioned here the performance element take the input from the environment with the help of the sensor and decide appropriate now in you you are also considered as a performance element am i right now here performance element is what student itself is the performance element yes or no yes sir student itself is the performance element and the particularly manage zala tar your brain your neurons in the human body is nothing but the performance element because it is taking some action by interaction with the learning elements means what performance element taking some action after it learned something from the learning element is it like that yes or no yes sir so yes, sir. same thing is nothing but the performance element and now you can see here performance elements you can see here after up, now here i have mentioned it is responsible for selecting the external action after learning something after learning something performance element can perform some particular kind of action understood now just in case of the student teacher example i told you after in the first after in the first component if you learn something okay then in the second component you give the exam that is nothing but the consider as your uh, student as a performance element which performing some action after learning something understood now same thing in the figure also being shown here perform you can see now after you give the exam okay after you give the exam you get to you get some another kind of experiences yes or no after you give the exam will you give will you get some kind of experiences or not yes sir जर तुम्हाला कमी मार्क पडले देन देन आल्सो यू विल गेट सम एक्सपीरियंस इफ यू गेट द मोर मार्क्स देन आल्सो यू विल गेट सम एक्सपीरियंस इज इट लाइक दैट यस और नो यस सर देन इफ यू इफ यू इफ यू गेट द लेस मार्क्स नाउ दैट नॉलेज यू विल गिव टू हूम दैट इंफॉर्मेशन यू विल गिव टू हूम डेफिनेटली यू विल गिव टू द टीचर दैट यू विल टेल टू द टीचर सर आई हैव गॉट द लेस मार्क्स इज इट लाइक दैट यस सर that is the reason here you can show this knowledge arrow is shown to the learning element getting then then i as a teacher then i will i will i will suggest you something i will teach you another something yes i will try to give you the more knowledge so that you can get the more marks yes yes sir so same arrow i can show you uh, show you again from learning element as a changes to the performance elements getting now hmm. yes sir after yes, you sir. perform some action action your action is what you give the exam now from that you have get some experience you might have get the bad experience good experience you might have got the less marks more marks etc etc then what you will do you will tell to the teacher sir i have got the less marks then teacher you teach you more related with that particular things then that will get that that will add some more knowledge in your knowledge base understood and again you will try to improve your performance after teacher teach you or you you will you will learn something from your own side also you will do more study also that is this arrow is shown here changes again 
after after performing after uh, performance element perform the activity again it gives some knowledge to the learning element again learning element tell something to the performance element and then performance element again he can perform the action tumi action kuta perform karnar hai environment madhe where you are going to perform the action environment yes, what do you mean by the environment yeah. environment madhe tumi wherever you are giving the exam that a college etc that is being considered as a environment understood any surrounding uh, part is being considered as a environment understood now same thing we can apply in case of the automated car performance element also here i have mentioned in the automated car performance element has information about the procedure of the driving the car so automatic in the automatic in automated car performance element he can uh, it, the action which which can be performed by the performance element are like turning taking the turn with the steering accelerating to increase the speed changing the gears stopping the car with the brake etc etc so this kind of action is considered in case of the performance element related with the automated car getting this just like in case of the student teacher i told you you give the exam that is being considered as action understood here in case of the automated car action are like what automated car cha baptit action kay astil kiwa apla human being as a driver tacha baptit action kay astil yes just like in case of the student teacher in case of the second component actions are what student give the exams they get the marks accordingly they get some experience etc etc tar in the similar way driving car uh, car cha jo driver hai tacha baptit action kay astil car chalvayche knowledge car chalvayche na ki turning turn gena sathi steering use karav lagta speed increase karna sathi accelerator use karav lagta gear ch Change, ge, ge, how to change the gear? How to stop the car? Car to stop car necessity brake use. These are the action related with the car. I am I am giving you the two example side by side. You are getting? Yes, sir. I am yes, giving sir. the example of student teacher also, and I am giving the example of related with the car also. Correct? Yes, sir. So that is nothing but the performance element. Understood the second element? yes sir let's see the third that is the problem generator here you can see the problem generator now problem generator also add some kind of knowledge in the performance elements or it can also problem generator is also used to add some knowledge into the learning agents okay now let's take the example now i tell you to uh, how to do the program of the addition subtraction etc etc i told you the all the basic things related with the c programming and then i told you uh, you do the program of finding the average of the numbers and also you do the program of uh, uh, identifying the even odd number as well as do the program related with the finding the prime number understood so is it the problem generation from my from my side to you can i call me as a problem generator for you yes yes sir. when i teach you something and after after you learn something then i give you some problem to solve He do the program of even odd number, prime number, etc., etc. So I am, I am as a, I am, can you consider me as a problem generator there? Yes or no? Parameter. Yes. Can you consider there me as a problem generator? Yes, sir. Then after I tell you these a uh, kind of problem or the assignment, what you will do? yes then what you will do
You will try to write the program for whatever I have told you. Yes, sir. Okay. Have I have I told you how to write the program of uh, odd even or the prime number? No. No. Then why, how you will do it? I have already. But I have told you what I have told you the basic things. Yes, sir. Then if it... what you will do? You use your own knowledge also. Yes, sir. Yes, understood sir. you will try to search somewhere then how to do the odd even programming how to find the average of numbers then you use your knowledge that you know to find the average numbers uh, when you to divide it by the the total numbers how uh, if you are finding the average number of 10 numbers you have to divide it by the 10 then you will get the average etc et this kind of things you will try yes sir you will try to use the different operators yes sir so from that now whatever time you will uh, you will take to do that activity from that you, will you get some informative experience yes sir new experience barobar jar me tumhala to exactly program karun dakhavla asta ani tumhi to tumcha manane kelyanantar tumhi ja ves tumcha swata tumhi karta tya ves tumhala jast experience milel ka mi sangitlyanantar milel self kelyanantar tumhi swata kelyanantar tumhala to jast experience milel is it right or yes. Yes, sir. Understood. Yes, sir. So here the role of the problem generator is what? What is the role of the problem generator? This component is responsible for suggesting action that will lead to the new and the informative experience for the learning agent. Got the problem generator? Yes, sir. So when I am suggesting you to do something, I am trying to give you the some kind of training. Is it like that? yes sir and through that your performance will increase or the decrease increase sir increase if you, if you do that only yeah if you do that if you do only whatever things i am telling you then only your performance increase if you don't do it then definitely your performance is going to be decrease and degrade day by day okay and so now let's you understood the this example of student teacher now take go to the example of the our uh, driver car uh, automated car now suppose the owner of the car owner of the car has uh, inducted the new driver okay and uh, that owner of the car has to go to the pune understand the situation then uh, they they go they started their journey from the yavla okay now what is the route to go to the pune Yes. What is the route to, you know, to go to the Pune? Are Pune al Gela ek nahi kuni? Ah? Yes. Yes. No. Say something. Ha. Huh? What yes. is the route to go to the Pune? संगम राय पाटा हाँ पर मग मालकाने सांगितलं की नगर मार्ग नाही जायचं आपल्याला इकडे कुठं संगमनेर मार्ग जायचं दॅट इज द वन प्रॉब्लेम क्रिएटेड बाय दॅट ओनर ऑफ द कार फॉर दॅट ड्रायव्हर यस सर ड्रायव्हरला तो रूट माहित आहे का संगमनेरचा नाही 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 आता ड्रायव्हर ड्रायव्हर असं मालकाला सांगू शकेल का सर तुम्हाला माहित नाही मी तो ड्रायव्हर मालक काढून टाकेन ना ड्रायव्हरला बरोबर आहे मग तो काय करेल द ड्रायव्हर विल टेक द हेल्प ऑफ समथिंग दॅट ही विल ट्राय टू फाइंड व्हाट एक्झॅक्टली रूट इज दॅट so and accordingly he will try to take that owner to the pune now from that now definitely driver will able to find that route now through that that driver will learn something yes sir that driver yes, sir. will get some informative experience yes sir 
is a new yes sir that new informative experience will get added to the knowledge base of that driver yes sir just like yes. when i have told you to do some programming you try it and some knowledge get added to your knowledge base in the similar way some knowledge will get added to the knowledge base of the driver also and accordingly the driver will improve itself just like accordingly when i teach you and you do yourself by your own you also improve your performance by adding some ex extra experience you are in your knowledge base understood so that is nothing but the problem generator element of the learning agent here you can see the problem generator through some experiments when some experiments is being get done through the problem generator that knowledge being get also added to the knowledge base of that particular learning agent and through that the performance element through that the performance of that learning agent can be get improved same here i have mentioned trying the different route to travel is the work of the problem generator or you can also mention the example of student teacher also just like i have mentioned understood and then through that the uh, after getting some new experience through the problem generator okay getting some new knowledge from the learning elements again the performance element can perform the action through the effectors now what do you mean by the effectors in case of the uh, learning agent of the ai can you tell me the example of effector means what what do you mean by the effector yes what is the effector or tell me the any example of effector yes sonal what is the effector yes do you understand the question yes sir then tell me what is the effector how the learning agent or the robot can perform the action yes sir react by something now you know to react what he utilize sir through effector the agent can perform the action hmm so i am asking tell me the example of effectors being utilized in the robot because that already i told you why the motor like, uh, huh yes it's like moving the hand or leg of robot how how it how, how the robot move it the effector sir tell me the example of effector na can we call the motors being utilized in the robot as a effector yes sir so have i told it before or not Yes, sir. Too. But you are not doing the practicing, na? So you will, you will uh, get the result of that also. So next time, whenever uh, I ask the question, if anybody can cannot able to answer me, then that student will be removed from the lecture at that time only. And I can, I will ask you the question of any chapters from the first to the fourth. so all of you should note these things if i ask you the question if no if anybody cannot able to answer at the same time that student will be removed from the lecture so it's it's up to you 
what you have to do okay so here here you can see the performance now we have discussed the four uh, major component the learning element uh, the problem generator and the performance element now last which is remain is nothing but the critic so let's go to the critic element okay now you can see the critic element here okay here you can see the critic element by having some performance standard also getting input from some sensors that is being from some environment it gives some feedback to the learning element which is the component of that learning agent and through that again the learning agent will try to improve their performance as you can see this this kind of things here okay from the sensor from the uh, critic uh, as a critic take something as a performance standard from somebody and it give it to the learning element and again learning element makes some uh, changes okay uh, in the perform through the through that the changes in the performance of the performance element can be happen and that is nothing but the changes in the performance of the learning agent okay now let me tell you the same kind of example now you you are now in the uh, suppose you are now in the 12th okay and uh, you are given the example exam exam of the jw okay and also your neighbors uh, your your friends which are living in your uh, as your neighbors they also given the exams okay and suppose out of the 200 out of the 200 you got the 150 marks how many 150 marks and but your neighbor your neighbor as your friend he get out of the 200 he get 190 marks how many 190 190 and you get how much 150 190 and through that 190 marks your friend uh, who is living as your neighbor he got admission in the iit where iit then what is what will be reaction of your parents tell me what will be reaction of your parents why you not got uh, that much marks so your parents will say that look at your look at your neighbors your friends yes she has she has or he has got 190 marks and then he got to able to get the admission in the iit etc ये देतो है तुम्हारा बरच काय तरी दे विल गिव द नंबर ऑफ काइंड ऑफ व्हाट वी कैन से एडवाइसेस सजेशन बरोबर ते बऱ्याच गोष्टी तुम्हाला तिथे सांगतील अंडरस्टूड तुम्हाला ओरडतील तू असं नाही केलं तू तसं नाही केलं तुझ्या तुझ्या मित्रांनी असं केलं त्यांनी असा अभ्यास केला तसा केला अँड ही गॉट द ऍडमिशन इन द आयआयट सो दे आर युअर पेरेंट युअर टीचर विल आल्सो टेल यू दैट यू नो यू डिड नॉट डू द स्टडी वेल ओके यू डू द टाइम पास एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा so in that case that your parents your teachers can also be considered as a critic yes or no can you call them as a critic critic what is the meaning of critic now critic is the word taken from the criticizing ki ekadya var tika karne एखाद्याला उपदेश देणे मग तुम्हाला उपदेश कोण देत येत आता येस येस सर हु इज गिव्हिंग हु इज क्रिटिसायझिंग यू पॅरेंट्स पॅरेंट्स टीचर्स अदर फ्रेंड्स हे सर एटसेट्रा नाव they are criticizing you with the help of what because they know that in order to get the admission in the iit there is a need of how many marks 190 yes sir so this 190 marks is nothing but the performance standard yes sir so they are criticizing you with the help of the some performance standard that is the here 190 that you 
they are they are observing some another they are observing some another students they are observing yes. the performance of another student and they are then they are telling you is it like that yes or no yes sir so that is the reason here you can see the critic the input which is coming to the critic is through the some performance standard the input which is coming to the critic is through some sensor that is being from environment mag byron sudha tumcha parents la kai goshti mahit padta through the environment they heard that uh, how to prepare for the iit asa bas kala asal tar kasu jala asto like this kind of things that's why here through the sensors also some input is shown here correct yes yes sir and then from all these things then your parents your teachers give you some feedback kay ki tu jar asa kela asta tar tasa jala asta if you study in that way then you would you would have got the good marks these things comes to you as a feedback now this is also nothing but some kind of addition of knowledge in you correct this is also the addition of some knowledge in you or not kuni kai sangle tar ami te aiknar nahi is it like that no sir kai cha baptit asa asu shakta but i am telling with the standard things so so through the feedback some knowledge is also getting added here in the you can see here in the learning agent through the different learning elements and the same thing is pass on to the performance element of learning agent you can see the you are if you consider yourself as a learning agent something get added in your performance uh, element also and accordingly again you try to improve yourself and that will get converted in your action the same thing i have mentioned critic follow some basic performance standard after receiving the input from the sensor same thing is related with the ai learning agent it compare this performance standard with the input and based on comparison critic give feedback to the learning agent now i told you the example of student teacher etc now same example we can apply it for the automatic car observe the surrounding condition and give this information to the learning agent now this in case of our automatic uh, car agent uh, in case of the automatic car agent or uh, human car uh, human driver also checking the reaction of the other drivers when there is a slope on the road ki dusre driver kay karta jar tumcha samor tumhi jar gaadi chalavta hai ani gaadi jar slope varun challi tar tumhi gaadi kashi chalavta observing that things when the speed breaker come in front you come in front come in front of you then how other professional driver behaves okay if you have to take the quick left turn or the right turn what the drivers other drivers are doing observing all these things and reaction and telling it to the automated car driver or telling it to your driver that is being also considered as a critic here yes or no ki observing the surrounding things and telling it to that particular agent that is the critic yes or no yes sir so same example also we have discussed here we have discussed the two examples related with the student teacher and related with the automated car agents also okay understood the critic element yes sir now you can see the performance element performance element is who performance is element is related with what learning agent now you as a learning agent and your performance element can take the knowledge from different things like you can see now you your performance element can take the knowledge from the surrounding that is the perception through the sensors yes or no you your performance element can take the element from the different learning elements that learning element can get the feedback from your parents teacher etc etc also performance element is getting the knowledge through the some experiment also okay that may be done by the a uh, learning agent itself only and through all these things again performance element try to perform the action and in this way day by day period by period just like you are adding number of experiences in your knowledge base and you try to improve your performance in the similar way 
ai learning agent also take different kind of this input from the surroundings from the critics through the through uh, through the problem generator or learning by itself only and then the ai learning agent also try to improve their performance and then you can see they in uh, the result of their performance is get reflected in their action and action get performed in the environment so this is nothing but what we can say the learning agent is understood yes yes sir yeah. yes sir okay now this in the similar way this architecture is being formed here understood and you have to explain that in the similar way okay so that's it from the today lecture and don't forget to follow the instruction that i told you from the next lecture if if anybody could not able to answer me on the previous topic that we have discussed at the same time that student will be removed from the lecture and also another thing related with the registration those students still remain they have to complete their registration as soon as possible otherwise you know the if they could not able to sit for the exam that will be their own responsibility okay that's it thank you all of you okay sir